Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. Here to talk about the biconical antenna. Now you're not being shown one here yet, but you will. Um, a viewer recently asked me whether I thought the fanned dipole antenna, either horizontal or vertical he did not specify, would be a better choice or a worse choice than a discone antenna as a multiband antenna for I believe it was roughly 10 meters down to 70 centimeters something like that. I don't know if it was that great of a span but it was a a, uh, probably not. I don't think that, uh, that that would be terribly practical. Maybe 144 megahertz? Or... In any case, he was asking which uh, option is better, the discone or the fan dipole. Well, first, we have to understand that um, if he's talking about a horizontal fan dipole, there's a fundamental difference between that and either one of these other two, and that is the polarization. Now, I'm assuming that... Um, our viewer wants vertical polarization so this option is out and it's between these two well actually a discone antenna is like an upside down ground plane antenna with a cone instead of the vertical element and that cone greatly broadens the bandwidth uh, it's like a, a quarter wave antenna Oh, under a ground. Uh, the disk is actually the grounded part. So this is an upside down type of a vertical dip uh, vertical uh, ground plane antenna, whereas this is a vertical dipole and uh, in theory at least ought to perform a little bit better than the disk cone, provided that you cut these elements the correct length. Uh, you, But there's a third option that uh, I think would work really well for this viewer. Let's see if we can erase all of these artifacts. This program is very interesting. It has a way of looking like you've erased things and then when you draw in the same area again it, uh, it they pop up again. Instead of the disc cone antenna with one cone like this uh, like an inverted ground plane, uh, why not make it into a broad-banded vertical dipole of sorts by using two cones? Both identical, but upside down with respect to each other. So what you in fact have is one cone with the apex facing down, the other cone with the apex facing up. Otherwise, their dimensions are identical. They're congruent geometrically. So if you turned one of them upside down, you'd get an exact replica of the other one. You cut this cone, or both of these cones, for the same dimensions, basically, as you would do for the disc cone antenna. And then you feed it at the center like that. So it's being fed like a vertical dipole with flared elements which make them broad banded. There is in fact, as you may have already guessed, such an antenna in existence and it is called a biconical antenna. And you run, you can run your mast up through this lower element just as you would do with a disc cone. And uh, what you'll end up with then is uh, a broadband vertical dipole. Ventricle dipole, I guess. Ventricle dipole. A broadband vertical dipole. It's like the fanned dipole goes it one better because instead of discrete frequencies you get a whole range of frequencies. These antennas do exist and you will occasionally see them although they're more common at frequencies above 
approximately 144 megahertz. They become somewhat unwieldy uh, at uh, 10 meters and 6 meter dimensions. You can build them out of wire, but uh, that's very, very cumbersome. This is generally a VHF UHF antenna, as is the disc code for most intents and porpoises. But you can make a biconical antenna of any size, provided that if you want to go with the lower frequencies, you're willing to put up with the mechanical engineering expertise that you will be uh, demanded to produce. In any case, that is what I recommend for this viewer is the biconical antenna. The best of all worlds and a pretty funkin funkin looking piece of hardware, don't you think? Stan Gibalisco W one G V signing off for now saying seventy three and so long.